Thank you for clicking on this Smashy Smashy Eggman movie reviews and more bonus video. Um, Friday I released a video talking about DC's deceased line of comics. Um, today I'm going to be doing the Marvel zombie apocalypse, and that is uh, Marvel Zombies. Um, it's been out for a lot longer. This came out when I was still in high school, I think. High school or middle school um, is when the books started to come out. And uh, I started reading them right away, and um, yeah, I I really loved Marvel Zombies for a while. If you want to see what I have to say on DC, I will be doing a comparison, an actual like pros versus cons of both um, runs in a later video sometime later this week. But right now, I'm just going to talk Marvel Zombies. So Marvel Zombies started off um, in Ultimate Fantastic Four. Um, which those issues and a lot of other stuff can be all found in the uh, Marvel Zombies Dead Days graphic novel. Um, it has Ultimate Fantastic Fours number 21 through 23 and 30 through 32 and issues of Black Panther because that's how Marvel Zombies started. It started off just as um, extra, as just an idea. And the Fantastic Four basically, Reed Richards was contacted by an alternate version of himself. Um, Ultimate Reed Richards, I want to point out, these are the Ultimate Universe, um, that he needed help. He ends up going to that universe, and it's Marvel Zombies. All the heroes are now zombies, and they're looking to use Reed Richards' tech to transport the zombies to a new world where there are people alive. Um, that is the first three issues, and it does lead directly in, because uh, Reed Richards eventually runs into Magneto, who is running the Resistance, trying to get to Asteroid M, um, to get any survivors off of Earth, and Richards helps him. Everyone escapes, minus Magneto. Um, Magneto stays behind. Um, in the other part of the Ultimate Fantastic Four, the Ultimate, the Zombie Fantastic Four, do get transported to the New World as well. And it, um, Ultimate Fantastic Fours, 30 through 32, is just a continuation. It's them in the Ultimate Universe, and them being dealt with. I mean, that one, the Black Panther issues are about um, the new Fantastic Four of Black Panther Storm thing and the Human Torch being transported to the Marvel Zombies universe and dealing with um, what the zombies become at the end of the original book. Um, as far as Dead Days go, I'll get to that in a second. Um, the Fantastic Four books are fine. Like, I don't think they're anything amazing. They're, they're fine books. They're a good lead-in story. Um, same thing with the Black Panther books. They're all fine. They're all fine stories, but um, but that's the birth of Marvel Zombies. So um, the Fantastic Four issues did so well that they decided to do more. And so they put out the first book of Marvel Zombies. Um, this is a five-issue run. Um, basically, it's Magneto. It takes place immediately after Ultimate Fantastic Four. So Magneto is fighting the zombies alone in New York. Uh, Magneto is overpowered and devoured. Um, and the book just follows the zombie versions of our heroes. Basically every Marvel hero, which um, is going to become a, down a downside of uh, this series moving forward. Because basically every hero, except Black Panther, um, is transformed into a zombie. Um, but you get to see a lot of great zombie versions. Um, this is not a thought-out series. They didn't think they were going to make more, so it made sense to make them all, um, zombies, basically. Um, our zombie heroes, the Silver Surfer shows up, they attack the Silver Surfer, and they, um, gain the powers Galactic from eating him. But unfortunately, Silver Surfer was there, meaning Galactus is coming, and, um, they try to figure out how to stop Galactus. How do you, how do you stop this power? And upon eating Galactus, the remaining uh, zombies, who are Wolverine, Captain America, Spider-Man... No, sorry, not Captain America. Wolverine, Spider-Man, uh, Giant-Man, Luke Cage, Iron Man, and Thor become Owen Hulk. There are six or seven of them. Hold up. I'm just going to flip to the last page, because the last page is the Galacti coming. I feel less bad about spoiling these because these are older books. Again, these are from the early, um, early 2000s. I don't remember the, I don't, 
fully remember the publication date on these, uh, but they're the early 2000s, because again, I read them. Uh, my brother had a comic book downloader, and that's how I read these five issues, was through that eventually I bought uh, the graphic novel, so I'd own it. But you get uh, Giant Man, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Hulk, Wolverine, and Luke Cage. I think I added people. Because I, I added Thor. Thor's in the book. Thor doesn't make it to the Galacti. Um, they become the Galacti and they go out devouring worlds, which is where the Black Panther issues in Dead Days comes. Uh, following that is the issue of that this book is named after Dead Days. Dead Days is um, it's a prequel. They would do a lot of prequel for Marvel Zombies because there's a lot of story to tell. Um, and that's basically, it's about the fall of the, um, the fall of the heroes. It's, you know, Peter Parker in Marvel Zombies mentions eating Mary Jane and Aunt May. That's in Dead Days. Um, but yeah, it's the resistance and the resistance of heroes falling. Because, you know, every time you get bit, you turn into a zombie. So every time, you know, the heroes lose one of their own, they become... They become an infection. It also has Reed Richards becoming too overly um, interested in the zombie virus and wanting to do more with the zombie virus. It's a really good one-shot. I liked it. I like Dead Days. Um, yeah, Marvel Zombies comes off with a bang. The first five issues are great. Dead Days is great. And the first follow-up is really good because it's a crossover with another comic book series. It is Marvel Zombies versus the Army of Darkness. Um, Ash Williams dies in his comic book line army of darkness and uh goes to heaven where he meets the century the centurion i've totally butchered butchered that hero's name um but he is the one who starts the apocalypse he is the first um infected is the centurion um and ash basically gets sent to the marvel zombie universe with the centurion I know I'm Sentry, Sentry, Sentry. I believe he is. He is the Sentry. Um, I don't know why I keep wanting to call him the Centurion. Do I even get? Is he even in this book? I'm pretty sure it's just mentioned. Oh no, there he is. The Sentry. Bam! That dude. He's the cause of the virus. Um, this is the book that tells you he is the cause of the virus. Um. And it's Ash trying to get out of this universe and back to his own universe and uh, dealing with the beginnings of this zombie apocalypse. He ends up fleeing to Latveria and uh, trying to get assistance from Dr. Doom, who obviously doesn't want to give him assistance. Uh, this kind of runs, you know, uh, with Dead Days. Like, these two stories are happening at the same time. It's a great story. I love Marvel Zombies vs. Army of Darkness. It's a great book. Such a good book. Um... Eventually, you would just get a straight-up Marvel Zombies 2, which follows the Galacti, as they have now basically eaten the universe. Um, they have eaten Ego, the living planet. They've turned Galacti... they turned Thanos, Gladiator, Dark Phoenix, um, and I swear, Fire Lord, I believe is the that character's name. Uh, they've turned all them into zombies as they uh, go out through the universe and then realize oh, there's life on Earth because the people who went to Asteroid M come back to Earth after the zombies have left. And now they realize, oh man, there's still zombies there. And Reed Richards had this teleporter he was working on to get to other dimensions. We need to go there. Uh, eventually you learn that the some of them are no longer hungry. They no longer hunger for... Um, they they're, they're don't need to feed anymore. So some of them become good. Some of them are so rot with what they've done, they can't not do it anymore. And they have to try to kill. And it's about the human civilization surviving. At the end, they do get teleported away, um, which will not be referenced for many, many books. Marvel Zombies 2, it's a decent story. I liked it. Um, it's an enjoyable read. And it definitely continues this story, you know, really good. It's a very nice continuation. Uh, that brings us to Marvel Zombies 3. Um, what can I say? What can I say? It's a four-issue run. Marvel Zombies 2 is a five-issue run. I forgot I didn't even mention, really. Uh, Marvel Zombies vs. Army of Darkness does not tell me how many... Oh, here we are. 
uh, one through five. So yeah, five issues, five issues, five issues. Now we're back. Now we lost an issue. Now we're down to four, which isn't a problem because, um, well, it just isn't for this story. So the story is, um, the zombies are now trying to invade the real, the main Marvel universe by a portal in a swamp. This is where zombie Deadpool comes in. So this is where uh, you gain, I think, or is, am, I, or am I wrong? Am I, am I a story off? I think zombie Deadpool. Nope, zombie Deadpool's this story. Bam, Headpool. Before he becomes Headpool. He becomes Headpool um, in this story. And um, they have to send Jocasta and I cannot think of the other hero's name. Machine Man. Machine Man and Jocasta go into the other world and go into the Marvel Zombies universe and try to deal with it. And it's basically them wiping out. It takes place after Marvel Zombies, but before Marvel Zombies 2, before Asteroid M comes back. Um, it takes place in that time frame. And it is them... Um, trying to find a cure for the zombie virus because certain heroes uh, get infected at the beginning of the story. So they're looking to cure them. And you find out somehow Morbius from the Marvel Zombies universe came through and uh, he's taken over the actual Morbius. And I think he gets dealt with in this book or it's the next book. Um, I feel like it's this book. I'm fairly certain it's this book he gets dealt with. But yeah, it's all about Kingpin and his plans to infect the world. It's not a good book. It's not a really memorable book. I just flipped through it to kind of remind myself what this book was. Um, this is when Marvel Zombie starts its um, descent into not being great stories. Because then we continue the story with Marvel Zombies 4. Uh, Marvel Zombies 4 has, again, it's four issues, but there's a fifth because there's the Tale of the Zombie, number one. Tales of the Zombie, number one. Um, this one shows the Midnight Suns, because now Morbius is pissed because he got his ass kicked by his zombie self. So now he's pissed, and they go out looking for the Hand um, because they're looking for... Uh, I can't think of the character's name. Now, he's a living zombie. Um, and for the life of me, I can't remember. Simon Garth. Simon Garth, who is a living zombie, hoping that he'll be able to help with the cure. But Simon Garth has Headpool. The head of Deadpool. And, uh... He goes out, and they find the hand. And a demon is brought into Simon Garth. But Man-Thing shows up and fights Simon Garth. And... Uh, it's not a good book. I think Werewolf by Night gets infected, um, and he has to get cured. It's not a not a great book. I don't Marvel Zombies. Fight. It's not. It's a. It's not an interesting book because it's not really about the Marvel Zombies anymore. It's not in that world. It's not about you know. It's not a continuation of what happened. It's these new. It's this new story, and it's just not as good of a story. Um, the next book they released was Marvel Zombies Returns. Um, this one actually is a fi five issues again, so you get five comics, and it goes back to the zombies from Marvel Zombies and Marvel Zombies 2. <gasps> what? We're continuing a story? Blammo! Um, this one's actually pretty good. I liked I like Marvel Zombies Returns. Um, I think it's a pretty good book. It Each issue focuses on a different hero after they're teleported away from um, the zombie universe into these other universes um into this other universe and uh their stories how some of them um get reacquainted to the hunger because of you know they get a little something in their mouth and now all of a sudden the hunger's back and they have to eat like um it redoes a great issue of spider-man where he meets the sinister six and spider-man eats the sinister six um you get an issue of um iron man it, you get, a repaint, you get a remake of Iron Man, Demon in the Bottle, except it's Ant-Man or Giant Man coming in to shrink down and try to steal something, some nanites from Tony Stark to help 
with what he's doing. And I think Stark dies in War Machine, becomes officially Iron Man. Um, you get an issue of Zombie Wolverine where you got Kitty Pride um, in a death match in Tokyo. And it's Spider-Man and Kitty Pride dealing with uh, Zombie Logan and non-Zombie Logan. Planet Hulk, except uh, Zombie Hulk eventually shows up to on the moon to fight the... No, no, Zombie Hulk's dead. It is just Planet Hulk where he goes to the moon to fight the uh, Inhumans. But he ends up running into Zombie Giant Man and Zombie Inhumans. And Zombie Hulk gets remade. And then you get the final issue, which is the climax of this. Where a bunch of the stuff that's happened in the previous um, books all comes to a head. Where the century is now... Um, where the Sentry is also part of it. He gets infected, or Zombie Sentry, and eventually becomes a time loop where Zombie Sentry gets sent back, and these two universes are just on a giant loop. Zombie Sentry gets infected in this universe, and then eventually gets sent to the Marvel Zombies universe, and it just becomes a giant circle. It's a really good book. Um, I didn't do it justice in explaining it, because each issue does focus on different heroes. But it's a really good book. I liked Marvel Zombies Returns. Um, it's good, it's good, it's good. After that, they did a one-shot called Evil Evolution. This combines with the Marvel Apes universe. Um, there's not much to say about it. It's a one-shot. It has to erase everything it does at the end because it doesn't fit the timeline of the Marvel Zombies, but, you know, you get Evil Evolution. They're fighting monkeys. The apes, they're fighting apes. It's fun. Um, that brings us to Marvel Zombies 5. And... I'm going to be abs... Oh, oh, right, right. Uh, Marvel Zombies 5, they're... Howard the Duck and the Machine Man are jumping between various zombie universes. Again, trying to create a cure. It's taking up after Marvel Zombies 4. Um, and it's Howard the Duck and Machine Man jumping to various universes to um, collect a cure to help cure the werewolf by night. It's, it's pretty forgettable. It took me that long to remember what the book was. Um, after that, they stopped doing that series. That series finally ended. And they did a couple more just random ones. Actually, I don't think that series did end. I think there's still one more. I think the last book, which I've only read once uh, in my entire life. But uh, you have Marvel Zombie Supreme. It's not a bad book. It's the Supreme are a group of genetically made superheroes in the Marvel Universe who basically are the DC heroes. So you get a Batman allergy, you get a Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Aquaman, and it's uh, them becoming zombies in a confined space and trying to stop them from escaping. It's a pretty good book. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it more than some of the other Marvel zombies. I liked it. Supreme, it was good. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, the last one I have copies of, and this is not where I stopped buying and reading. This is just, I never bought hardcovers of uh, any of the other ones that came out. And that is Marvel Zombies Destroy, which is Howard the Duck and Dum Dum Dugan. Again, going after other, not, other zombies in other universes. Um, yeah, it's not a great book. Uh, they then did War World and Marvel Zombies got a War World issues and I read those and they were pretty bad. I don't have them anymore. And then they did a crossover with the Age of Ultron, which is also pretty bad. And I don't have those issues anymore. And then they've rebooted it twice and I don't have either of those reboots because I was unaware they existed. Uh, so I never got them to read. Um, and there was a point, there's also a zombie Christmas carol. It has nothing to do with the Marvel Zombies. It's just a Christmas carol with zombies for some reason. It was interesting to read once. That's all I got on that one. Um, Kind of lost interest in Marvel Zombies after a certain point. I watched the What If episode. The What If episode um, was fine. I'm going to watch the Marvel Zombies show if it's actually based on the comics. Because the What If episode isn't based on the comics. It's just What If Zombies. Which is fine. But I would have liked, if it's based on the comics, I would have liked it a lot more. So... Let's 
let's take these. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 11 Marvel Zombie books here. So what's the rankings here? Let's do that quick. Let's let's decide what's the worst Marvel Zombies book and work our way from there. Um, the worst one is Destroy. I did not like this book at all when I read it. It, yeah, I still have it. Um, I bought it at half price books, so I'm not super sad. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a great book by any means. Um, it's just kind of boring. Uh, next up, going in uh, descending order, I'm just I'm just gonna take them. Is Marvel Zombies five, then four, then three. Because this is all the same story. It is one continuous story, but it's not an interesting story. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to throw those in as my next, you know, in that order. Then I'm going to throw Evil Evolution. It's a fine comic. It's fun. But it's not as entertaining as some of the other Marvel Zombie stuff. Then I'll go Supreme. I thought Supreme was a good step up. Um, from three, four, five, um... But I liked Supreme. I thought Supreme was really interesting and really a lot of fun. Then I'd go Marvel Zombies 2. I like this book, but I think I was entertained way more with some of the other ones. And so I'm going to put rank those ones higher. Um, I'll then do the Dead Days one-shot. Um, I'm not going to put the Ultimate Fantastic Four or the Black Panther. Like, the Dead Days, I'm just going to focus on the Marvel Zombies line itself. Um, and the Dead Days. So I'm going to put Dead Days next on my rankings. Then I'm going to go with Marvel Zombies Returns. It's a fun book. I really like what it did. I like the fact that it continued the original story. And that it actually, like, is an interesting read. Uh, then in the bronze play... Uh, no, silver. Taking silver, because Marvel Zombies Returns took the bronze. Taking the silver is actually going to be Marvel Zombies. Uh, it's a great book. It's a really fun read. But it's got... But my number one has one thing that Marvel Zombies doesn't. And that is, of course, Ash Williams from The Evil Dead. As I pick uh, Army of Darkness. Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness. This is the best book in the series. It's a lot of fun. Um, you get the enjoyment of the Marvel Zombies. Plus, plus you get Ash Williams uh, written in there as well. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this book. Um... But yeah, overall, Marvel Zombies, it did have definitely a loss of quality as uh, it's gone on and been written more and more. Um, but yeah, overall, like, there's something to say about Marvel Zombies, and there's something cool about these books and everything. And they're worth, and like, once you get to Supreme on that list, they're really worth the reread. They're very good stories, and that's what you want. You want a good story. Um, and you just want to be able to sit down and read a good story. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Marvel Zombie comics. Somehow this video is way shorter than my thoughts on Deceased. Um, or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm misthinking how long that video was. Um, but, yeah, like I said, in a couple of days, I'll actually compare and contrast the two and make a decision. Because here's the thing. There are points. Like, Marvel Zombies has so, much, so many books, it's hard to determine... Um, What's the best book? And in fact, if you look at my rankings here and go, you know, just book by book, I think I actually have six on the screen for Dead Days, or for Deceased. Um, so if you go with the first six, including the one shot, you would get my number one, my number two. You would get my... I don't think, actually, I think Returns is going to fall out of here. You would get Dead Days... You get Marvel Zombies 2, um, and then you would get, oh my, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you'd get uh, Marvel Zombies 3, and unfortunately Marvel Zombies 4 in those first six books. So, we'll see, we'll see. Like, is, is the weight of what's good in these books, does it outweigh the weight of what's good in Deceased? We'll find out, we'll find out, we'll answer that question in my Marvel Zombies versus Deceased video, uh, which I'll be doing later this week. It'll be a lot of fun. I, I enjoy superhero zombie time, so, uh, and I'm out. Uh, I enjoy superhero zombie time, so we'll talk more about superheroes and zombies 
uh, yet this week. So yeah, I am Martin Prevost. This is Smashy Smashy Eggman. Movie reviews and more. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk at you later. Have a good rest of your day. Read some comics.